Now it's over to Chef Mark, who's making a quesadilla. Well, one we've actually never heard of. I've never heard of this. Is it sweet? Is it savoury? Exactly. You tell me. We've got cheese in there. Yes. We've got walnuts in there. We've got pears in there. Could be sweet. Could be savoury. Could be sweet. Could be savoury. Okay, cool. So, we've, as you said, we've got all the main ingredients there. It mm. is sweet. So, yeah. we've got some ice cream. We've got caramel ah, ice cream. Yeah. Um, we've got all the walnuts in there, brown sugar, um, the, and the pear. So, it is a sweet um, dessert, actually, which we're going to toast in the oven. And then the cheese is just going to give it a nice bit of richness and we've got a nice caramel sauce to go with it as well. Oh, that sounds fascinating mm. actually, you better go and put that ice cream back in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> so it will come to you soon, okay? Great to have you with us, we are in the Beko kitchen and Mark, you're making a Mexican classic, but this is quite a new spin on it, isn't it? It has, it's got a great spin on it, so I don't even know if we can call this Mexican. Well, I mean, we've got the wraps, um, but it's a dessert. Okay, you know? nice. It's got cheese in there, we've got pear in there, we've got walnuts, I'm going to make a caramel sauce and serve it with some great ice cream as well. So. It's going to be a little bit different, but it's well worth trying. Okay, well, I'm excited, so let's get going. First right. up. Right, so we've got a pan on there. So, yep. so we've got a few different options. You can just um, you can build it, pop it in the oven, and just bake everything in the oven if you want to do it really simply. But we're going to toast it a little bit, and we're going to build it up, and then we're going to put it in the oven so I can just show you how to do it. Okay, great. Right, tortilla, bit of butter, bit of soft butter. Give it a nice uh, wipe around. Okay. You know, be, be generous on the butter. We right. like the butter. Okay, nice. All right, and then get a warm pan, sort of medium heat. Okay, so, so far. So we've just got some heat in there, and we've got the butter on there, and we're just going to toast it. Okay, okay. so we want a nice colour on that. Uh, I'm going to do another one, mm -hmm. and uh, you're in charge of that. Okay. <laughs> and then what we're going to do, we're going to build up the layers. It could all go pear-shaped. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> fine. Oh, uh, everyone in the control room just uh... groaned. <laughs> I thought long and hard about that one. Um, okay, cool. So just lightly brown, is that what you yeah, want? Yeah, just lightly brown. Okay. Right, so I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to get the caramel sauce started now. So this is going to take a bit of a, a, a bit to get going, right? So we've got some caster sugar mm -hmm. in there. And I've got a little bit of water as well. So the pan's sort of quite hot. Oh, didn't, didn't do that right. <laughs> <laughs> Ideally, do it in a cold pan. And um, just... You've got enough water just to dissolve, dissolve the sugar. It? Right, yeah. Okay. So just make sure it's all dissolved. And then we're going to put it back on the heat. So high heat and we want to boil the sugar. Okay, great. Okay? And then we want to turn that into a caramel. And okay. it's a good idea when you're boiling the sugar because it sort of bubbles up and goes on the side of the pan. If you've got a little pastry brush dipped in water oh, yeah. and you just keep rubbing it around the side of the pan and it, you don't get any um, sugar crystals in there forming. Okay, cool. Now just quickly, yes. brown enough or not uh, brown little, enough? A little bit more. And we'll just do it on one side. Okay, cool. Right, and then you want to do the other one. So we're just doing one side brown? Yeah. Okay, yeah, and cool. then you can do the other one. We'll take that out because we're... Okay, we'll, cool. We're running out of time. You'll be here all day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so colour color side down. And then what we want to do is we're going to go first with a little bit of cheddar cheese as well. And this okay. is going to act as a glue and sort of glue everything down. Okay, so it's about the brie and the pear, so you just want a really fine layer. And that's just going to go on there. Okay, nice. Right. Then some brie. So... It's quite good with the brie. If you get a whole brie, you can just do some nice slices. Not too thick. Keep it nice and thin. Right. And then we're just going to lay this out. So okay. cheddar, brie. You know, yeah, it is going to it is going to melt, so you don't need to get it too close together. You know, that's the thing with quesadillas. You know, you just want nice thin thin layering, so it all stays together. You know, so that's heaps there. Okay. So nice and generous. Uh, and then pear. I'm going to do some nice slices of pear. So just take the cheek. Nice thin slices, Ooh. keep it all up, and we're just building it up, you know, we're building all those little layers. Look What's the inspiration this. behind this dish? Uh, just to do something completely different. Yeah, no, well, I, I like it, that's good. Yeah. And, and that's the whole fun about food, you know, we've got some great ingredients, which everyone knows. Um, but it's just putting them together in a different combination. Okay, great. Right, a little bit of uh, brown sugar on top, mm -hmm. and then we're going to pop some walnuts on there. Oh, this is <laughs> it actually is quite... A nice mixture when you look at it like that. That's it. You know, just chop your walnuts. You get a nice bit of texture. You don't want them um, too bigger pieces. Mm -hmm. So just roughly sprinkle that over, and then what we want to do is put it on the tray, and then we're going to bake that in the oven. In the we're going to do. We're going to put a little bit of cheddar cheese on that side. We're going to pop it over the top. And we're going to bake it in the oven for about eight minutes in a hot, hot oven, six to eight minutes. So it'll be nice and crispy. The, the cheese and the brie is going to melt, and it's just going to be like ooh, oozing. Ooh. And then we'll come back, and I'll show you this caramel sauce. Oh, I cannot wait to get into the second half of this, because so far it is looking fantastic. We'll show you how to do the caramel sauce. That's straight after we catch up with Holly.
we need to finish off our quesadilla. Our quesadilla with a twist. Uh, so it's you've got it back out of the oven. Look at that. I just want to eat it now. It's do you nice have to do and crispy. More to it? No, no, just take it out. Oh. Just cut it open. You know, look at that. You've got that melted cheese. You've got Beautiful. the pear in there. Nice. A little bit of texture from the walnut. Nice. It's, it's really, really good. Okay, and the caramel. Caramel good. sauce. Yeah. So we just got the caramel. So just keep um, just keep cooking it down, keep boiling it. You know, all the water's going to go off, the sugar's going to caramelise, and then we're just looking for a really deep, dark uh, caramel colour. Okay, so you've got to be careful though, because you could burn this, couldn't you? Yes, you so can you burn it. it so, low. Yeah, well, you, you can Lush. do it on high, but you just need to watch it like a hawk. You okay. can see you see getting those nice orange bubbles there, yeah. and there's a bit of smoke coming, so you're not far away. Okay. A little bit of salt, so we're going to make some salted caramel. Just salted caramel, that's, mm. tr that's on trend at the moment, isn't it? It is on trend, because it's so good. So you can see it now, it's getting like a nice deep sort of amber colour. You know, that's what we want. Okay. So I'm just going to remove it from the heat. So it's really hot, so just be really careful now. Oh. Just going to pop a little bit of butter. Yeah. That is a little bit. <laughs> now I know why caramel tastes so good. A little bit more. Uh. It's a recipe. And it's so you're just going to stir sugar that in and off butter. the heat. Well, exactly. that smells good. And that's it. And now we're going to put some cream in there. So just pop that in. Just be careful because it is really, really hot. Just stirring all the time. Get all that in, and there you go. That is just a really thick, um, oh, beautiful salted caramel sauce. What a beautiful looking colour too. Okay, great. And there you go. Mm -mm, I'm not going to dip my finger in that because that is very hot. Yeah, it's really hot. So just be really careful with that. Okay. You know, and then we can just spread our pear and cheese is on there. Who would have thought? I, I know. Yeah. I don't know. Do you, are you sold on this? I am sold on this. Different. I mean, you know, you know, sometimes you add pear and cheese together on a little cheese. Yeah, yeah, board, exactly. Yeah, pear and cheese is beautiful together. So why not just add some salt and caramel, some ice cream, exactly. and some nuts? And you know what? And you know what you want to do? A top tip at home: yeah. make like two or three times the recipe. Use it for this, and then put the rest in a jar in the fridge, and then you can eat oh. it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let it. And I would do that. Let it cool down a little bit. I'll and get your fancy little, chef swirl yeah, on. Yeah, a little bit of swirling. It's all there about the presentation. Go. Nice. It goes on there. Can put some more chopped walnuts on there. Yes. And what do we need now? Ice, ice cream. cream. So you can put your favourite ice cream on here. I've got a nice caramel swirl one here, which we're just going to carry on with that caramel theme through it. You know, vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, any ice cream will work. And uh, there you go. That. A sweet quesadilla. That looks spectacular. Look at that. <laughs> Restaurant quality that we've done at your own home. And you can try it. You can get the recipe if you want at the website, thecafe.co.nc. Right, yeah, I hide that from Mel. She'll eat it before the end of the show. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> it does look delicious. Well, I'm ready to go. The ice cream's melting, so you're gonna you're gonna have to uh, chow into it. Oh wow! Well. Oh, Look no. at that. Oh wow! Well, well. well. <laughs> melted ice cream. What are you doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got a goodie. This is one of Hamish's favourite recipes. So I've got roast pork and mustard cream sauce and mashed potato. Wow! Also, that sounds fascinating. <laughs>